it's Cindy and Laura <laughs> coming at you again today with an M perspective and today it's special because we're not going to do any editing this is totally uncut and uncensored M perspective yes <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about um, the Procter & Gamble digital hack night that went on last night because it kind of ties in with what we were talking about yesterday yes social media so what was it let's explain it well I was actually on Twitter um, and I was following at Armando and I know he was one of the top uh, you know, in the groups, they had about four uh, teams yesterday, mm -hmm. tied one, two, three, and four. And so this so, was for Tide? This was for Tide, uh, for Procter & Gamble. And what they did is um, they invited 40 executives from agencies and social networks. And he happened to be, you know, part of that uh, experiment. So I was following him. And, you know, I was trying to see what was going on. I wasn't 100% sure. You know, I didn't know if... You know, he was the only one a part of that, and then I found other people that were also in those teams. And I was, I mean, I thought it was a brilliant idea. But you know? what, was, what were they trying to do? It was for charity, right? Yeah, it was, of course, tied to a cause, and they were selling t-shirts. That's what they were doing. They were selling t-shirts. These teams were competing to sell t-shirts. Yes, they were competing with each other to sell t-shirts, and, of course, all this money was going to go to um, Feeding America, which is for, like, the big the disaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a charity. Okay. Big disasters like Katrina and things like that. Um, and part of the people that were involved in this, um, they were actually from Google, uh, Facebook, MySpace, MySpace, and Intuit. Intuit, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I loved it. And mm -hmm. it reminded me of Twestable. I actually attended that, um, I think it was a couple months ago. Here in Dallas. Here in Dallas. I went to the Dallas Twestable, and it was pretty much the same thing. And it was tied to a cause, and a lot of people contributed if they couldn't attend. And I was able to to attend, of course. And I really, you know, I mean, I'm up for, you know, tying in money with a cause. With a cause, yeah. yeah. So, how do you think <clears throat> that Procter & Gamble will benefit from what they did yesterday? Like, I guess, I mean, because Google, Facebook, MySpace, those are like the biggest names yeah. on the internet right now. Yeah. Um, how, how are they benefiting from this? Um, I think one of their goals, um, or for the strategy, um, you know, the, the person behind the strategy for Procter & Gamble, what he was trying to do uh, was to kind of show these other, you know, senior level executives, hey, this is what social media can do. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, they right. did. Mm -hmm. You know, they definitely proved that. I mean, they raised $100,000, you know, just by selling t-shirts in four hours. Can yeah, you believe cool. that? I mean, that's incredible. Do I think you think, that's yeah, crazy. that is, yeah. that's amazing. Like, because some, some, like Procter and Gamble, they're I guess you could say ahead of the times now because mm -hmm. other companies aren't turning to social media yet. They're still like it's not helping us out, you know? Yeah. So I think this is a good example of how yeah, how powerful it is. Exactly. And you know, I even think that, you know, some nonprofits, you know, could benefit from this, you know, from this experiment. I mean, uh, just putting it out there and you know putting the cost out there but of course you do have to have a strategy behind it and of course uh, for Procter & Gamble they had the top influential bloggers mm -hmm. and part of it. yeah they were a part of that so because they knew that you know those bloggers on Twitter had a large following mm -hmm. they were able to you know tweet it out and get all these other people to Involved, retweet it yeah. yeah and another awesome thing about this was that they were actually trying to get the celebrities on Twitter hmm. to retweet ah uh, I see yeah yeah actually I think it, yeah so that was awesome, and they actually had um, a tally going on of um, who was, you know, ra raising how many the most money, the most yeah, money yeah. or how many how many T-shirts they were selling. So who won? Do we know who won? The red team won. The red team. Yeah, and David. Uh, David's team. And that's what Google Mice was. Or okay. No, it was just a it was just a group of. I like guess they had different. Yeah, they paired teams. paired up just four teams. Hmm. Of different people, so um, I say good job, guys. Yeah, it's a cool experiment. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, so I guess that wraps up our uh, daily in perspective. Yeah, and for all of the you know senior level marketing execs, I'm not sure that you are on Twitter or anything, you know, because of this experiment. But you know, for anyone else who's used uh, social media and hasn't really seen the results, I mean, what do you think about this? Do you think that this has changed the way you? you know, view social media in terms of how to use it. I mean, and you know, how powerful it is. How powerful it is. So leave us a comment, you know, let us know what you think and um, visit our YouTube page. All right. Uh, that's M Strategies Inc. That's 
episode on YouTube. Yeah, so until tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks, Bye. guys.